Hello, everybody. Welcome back to New Woodshire. We got a lot of work to do today. We are buttoning up, getting ready to leave. We're going to head over to Meadow Grove and meet uh, our good friend Adrian and Mr. Farmer Men over there. We got a bunch of work to do there, so we got a bunch of work to do here before we can do that work there. Um, mainly, we need to we need to make some money. We got we can make money just about all the ways with animals today. So, uh, first things first, milk price is the highest I've ever seen it. it was just over fifteen hundred dollars. So, we have quite a bit of milk. We're gonna go sell that this morning. The restaurant called. They got some kind of deal going on over there, and they are paying top dollars. So, hey. We're gonna hook them up. We have 49,000 liters. So we'll have a trailer and a half. That's pretty good. We'll take, you know, make two runs over there. It's on a great demand, so we know the price isn't gonna change real quick. So we'll get that knocked out this morning. Uh, let's see what else we gotta do. We have to sell bacon. We are full of bacon. Don't, can't, don't have any more room in the pens, so we'll have to make a couple trips there, make that money. And uh, something else, oh, Xavier. Mr. Xavier, it's time for him to go. He is going to go be the stud we all knew him to be, so he's going to go have good days, good days ahead. So we're going to haul Mr. Xavier off. Plus, we can't trust him anymore. He, uh, you know, one day you go down there and he's brown. The next day you go down and he's a Palomino. I, you know, I can't, can't really trust a horse like that, so time for him to go. We've had Mr. Xavier since day one. That was the first horse we bought on the PC first look when me and Farmer Men did it. Uh, the very second that FS19 came out. That was one of the first things I did. So we have had Mr. Xavier for a while. It's time for him to go. Uh, especially since we'll be in Meadow Grove, we will be dealing with Adrian's horses and no way to transport them over there. And I don't want to ask John or Stefan or any of the guys to to take care of him. So like I could say, he's he's getting a pretty good deal out of it. He won't mind, I promise. He's not going to the glue factory or anything like that. Watch out, people. Milk coming through. I suppose we just take milk here to the same place, huh? Yep. There we go. All right, let's see what kind of money we get for that. Like I say, it was $1,512 per thousand liters. I've never seen it over 1400 or... Just over fourteen hundred. So that's pretty good. Extra hundred bucks ain't gonna hurt anything. A little traveling money, a little walking around money when we get there. How about that? So yeah, that's what we're doing today. We're gonna basically batten down the hatches, get everything ready. Uh, John is gonna take over the day to day for us, and um, yeah, we're gonna go to Meadow Grove and see if we can do a little, a little more realistic farming. I'm looking forward to it. Um, as I understand it, we're going to have some rules in place. Um, no fill points or automatic, uh, you know, fuel deliveries or anything like that. Everything we get, we're going to have to go get and cart in. Um, you know, no fill points for seeds or fertilizers. We're going to go to the store, pick them up, bring them back. So I'm looking forward to it. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Play the game the way the game is supposed to be played for a little bit. Um, give that a shot. There's... A lot, of, a lot of craziness going on in the game right now. Sometimes I'm not sure if I'm watching a, a farming video or a GTA video. So uh, let's see what farming looks like. Uh, see, can I get in there? I don't know if I'm good enough to do that. I was uh, exaggerating my talents there, wasn't I? All right. I forgot to look, see how much money we made off that. I'll have to go back on the video and look. It was, uh, must have been pretty good. I think we only had 160 some thousand, so maybe, maybe 40,000, I don't know. <clears throat> we'll go back and look, but anyways, that's what we're going to do. We're going to run around here, do a bunch of small jobs, get this place ready. The sunflowers are all harvested, uh, so if we get a good price, we'll go ahead and sell those, see what kind of money we get. Just, I'm just curious. Um... Don't quite have all of them in the silo yet, so I was going to look and see how many we got off the harvest, but we'll just wait for that number until we get that auger wagon right there put away. So we got uh, everything's there, ready to go. We got to go get the header trailer, bring it over, get the header off of the ideal, uh, and then we're going to bring everything back to the yard and wash it all off and put it away. We'll wait till the next harvest season, so 
get the auger wagon cleaned out, get the uh, harvester put away. There's the challenger with the uh, put the plow hooked up. He is ready to go on this field as soon as we get some lime spread. Um, a bunch of them on that side of the road need lime, so we'll go ahead and do those fields and and get those culti plowed in, and and that's it. Mr. John will be away and running. Let's see if we can get off of the 17,000 liters there. Maybe we can pay attention there. Ooh, 25,000. Ooh, so we made, goodness, made really good money off that first trailer load then. I'll definitely have to go back and check that out. Nice. All right. Whoa. We got an achievement. <laughs> Breed 20 cows. How about that? Look at that. A little magic happened while we were going. I don't know how we haven't got that one before, but okay. Well, that's like uh, the other day I was cultivating, and I got the achievement for cultivating 10 acres. <laughs> um, I was quite sure I've done that before, but yeah, that was just like a week ago that I got that, so that's pretty funny. You never know when those things are going to pop up on the Xbox. Something triggers them, I guess. All right. Let's see if we get this thing put away here. And we will head over to the other farm. I'm going to take the case over, I believe. Take the little case over. No, he's got the spreader on it. I'll leave him over here. I'll take something over. We're going to ride something over there. I'm not walking. Uh, maybe I can get that back in there. Anyways, yeah, let me get this in here. Take something over to the other farm. And we will get going as far as loading up some bacon and loading up Mr. Xavier. I'll be right back. All right. Well, we brought the uh, one of the chick magnets back. That's what we decided to do. Has the slurry tank on the back. We'll go ahead and clean the slurry pits out here for the bacon. We're getting rid of some bacon, so might as well get rid of uh, some of the other products that go along with them. Make uh, out with the old, in with the new, right? So first things first. Are we hooked up? Yeah, we're already hooked up. Uh, I guess first things first is we'll go ahead and part ways with Mr. Xavier here. Parting is such sweet sorrow. No, wait. Uh, nah, it's not. It's just a horse. He's fine. How do we get this thing? Uh, let's see. Oh, it's already up there. <laughs> Close enough. There we go. All right, Xavier, here we go, buddy. Off to greener pastures. Oh, he looks lonely in that big old trailer by himself, doesn't he? I wish we could haul different types of animals in there. Can we? Has anybody ever tried this? I'm sure it doesn't work. But I don't think I've ever attempted it. Yeah. It already contains a different animal type. I thought it was going to let me do it there for a second. How about that? Alright, well you just got to ride by yourself, buddy. Let's see, we'll sneak out this way, head across the tracks up here. Nothing to worry about there, right? Never never been a problem before. Uh, let's see, we're at 100 pigs. We'll take 12 pigs at a time, so we'll go ahead and do two loads of pigs. Get rid of Mr. Xavier. That is almost $75,000 we're going to get for those three trips right there. So add that to the milk money this morning. We are already in good shape. Uh, since Mr. Xavier is gone, we will get rid of the horse pin, so that'll give us another maybe $1,000. I forget what that was. It wasn't very much, but a little bit more money there. I wish we could take the uh, like the oats and straw out of the pin and sell those. That'd be cool. But we'll just call it a loss on those. It'll be all right. Look, I knew it. I knew it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> as soon as we come through, every time. <laughs> that dude in that train just sits right there and waits, I'm telling you. He's got it out for us. Every time. Look at him. Yeah, I see you, buddy. 
Confirm. Fifty thousand dollars. All right. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Go back uh, two more trips. We'll be done with this part. Let's see. Then we have to. Oh, the greenhouses. I need to get the greenhouses fully stocked and ready to go. Uh, try to make John's life as easy as possible. We'll take care of all the small chores around here. Get all the. Uh, you know, manure cleaned out of the pins, all that good stuff. Be ready to go. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to going to Meadow Grove. Um, rode around there just a little bit in some tiny little fields. And I know that we are already have some tiny little equipment on the farm. So there won't be any wiggle bottoms going on over there, I can tell you. We'll have to come back here to get our wiggle bottom fix. But I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. Uh, it's always fun hanging out with that farmer men dude. That dude's a nut. So we'll get some work done and have a, have a good time doing it. Now. Um, yeah. I didn't think I was going to make it out of there for a second. So yeah, we'll get rid of the horse pin right here. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in right here. We have been approached by a local, um, like, co-op power company about putting some solar panels in. So we might look into doing that. It'd definitely be a good investment for us. But I'm not sure. We're going to have some room there and have a little bit of money here. Of course, we probably should take this and pay it back to the bank, shouldn't we? We still owe, I think, $1.6 I don't want to look. It's too much. We owe... Oh, well over a million. But we got, uh, John's got some work to do to dig us out of this hole. Speaking of, John left a little sunflowers here. While we have the harvester still in this field with the header still on it, I may come back and clean that up right there. No sense cultivating that in. Might as well take the money, right? Oh, as far as money and sunflowers go, yeah, we need to look at the price too. We'll go ahead and get that done and get them emptied into the silo and see how much we have. We may uh, may lease a Wilson trailer or one of the piggyback Wilson units to, to haul our grain in. We can get more in there at one time. So all depends on the price and if we could find a great demand or not. What kind of hurry we'll have to be in and how many trips it's going to take total. So yeah, it's all good. Twelve thousand more dollars. Good stuff. All right, let me go make one more trip. We don't need to watch all that. I don't know if I have enough things to mumble about until we get done with that, anyways. So I'll be right back. Get everybody sold and out of here. We have thinned out the animal population quite a bit. Um, well, I was gonna do the greenhouses, but I forgot to go put the forks on or the arms. Uh, just take the water with us, I guess. We'll have to come back and grab the bucket. Uh, the, they're not completely empty. Uh, as far as manure goes, I think they're down to 25%. So We didn't let them run all the way out this time. I'm pretty proud of us. Uh, where's the trigger now? There it is. All right, so we got to get these things taken care of, make our money here. I think what I'm going to do, I've been thinking... That's always dangerous, right? Since I'm going to be away for a while, I think I've made a deal with a guy in town here. He's going to come haul away our little mobile home up there. We've already uh, shipped Squirrel out. Squirrel, we took him to Mama's house. My mom's going to watch him while we're gone. So uh, he's already gone from up there. So I think I'm going to sell the little mobile home, get it out of there. And we are going to invest in another little property down the road. Uh, not going to put a house up there just yet. <clears throat> Maybe we can make enough money at Meadow Grove to, you know, stick some away for a, for a home when we get back. Uh, the water's back there. I don't know where I'm going. Let's try that again. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Maybe we can afford us a, a proper home to put down there when we get back. So I like it. I think that, uh, you know, we're not going to be here. There's no sense paying for the thing, paying utilities on it and all that stuff. And, uh, uh, let's be honest, we got it from uh, our good friend KJ, and it was it was gently used when we got it, and we have 
less than gently used it for our purposes and that I don't know what I'm doing my goodness trying to put the water in the manure tank it's not going good not going well all right this is my kind of work though I'm just back and forth in the tractor you don't have to get out I like it crash up on the junk pile pretend like you didn't do it easy money up oh, get it again here just for good measure Um, yeah, it looks kind of empty down here now. We could definitely put a couple more greenhouses in down here. Or, um, nice array of solar panels would be nice. Very profitable. There's a lot of overhead on those, um, initially. Not overhead, but, you know, a lot of initial expense for those. Uh, no overhead after that. They'll pretty much take care of themselves. They'll cover their own overhead, so. That's at 57. I forgot to look. I assume that one was full, yeah. All right, so one more tank should get us on the water, and then we'll, let's see, while we're down here, we'll go grab the arms, and we'll grab the bucket while we're up there. Hopefully there's enough manure in the pig pen to take care of these guys. If not, there's definitely enough in the cow pen. I just don't want to drive over there and get it, so. Yeah, you know. Is what it is. <clears throat> we also have a bunch of straw to get up. Man, I need to do that. Definitely make Mr. John's life easier, so. We may do that when we get done here. Um, yeah. I know we're getting getting pretty close to calling it an episode, I believe. I've been rambling on long enough. Things are changing. That's, uh, that's the moral of this story. We're going to head out of here for just a little bit. Go. Uh-oh. Get into some shenanigans with farmer men. I'm sure of it. And hopefully make a little money. Like I guess I do a, do a little farming. Pretend like we know how to do some real farming. And uh, where's that water trigger? Oh, there you go. I thought I could do it with one more tinker at 84%. All right, close enough. Oh, wait. Can we get down in the water here? I've seen us do it. We'll do it the slacker way, right? Test out the old four-wheel drive. All right. Easy peasy. Nothing to it. All right, we'll take this up, top it off, put it away. There we go. All right, greenhouses are full of water. We'll fill the tank back up, drop it off, grab the bucket. And, yeah. I think we're about done here. There goes that junk pile again. My goodness. That stuff will spin you around in a heartbeat. All right. Put this away. Yeah, we're up to $300,000. I did check the bank. We owe the bank $1.8 million. I thought it was $1.6. <laughs> Not as well off as we thought. Yeah. Well, that's all right. That's all right. Maybe we can write it off on our taxes, huh? Is that a thing? I think that's a thing. Eh, yeah, maybe not. All right. Need to do a little cleanup on that pig pen there, too. Let's go ahead and scoop that up while we're here. We'll pretend like we didn't see it, right? Let's say we need to do it and then not do it. Yeah, we did get it all in one bucket. I didn't think we would. Perfect. I don't know where I'm going anyways. I got to scoop manure, so... Like I was driving back down to the greenhouses. Well, I tell you, I'm really on the ball today. I think I'm uh, what my grandma used to call journey proud. Getting ready to go on a trip and that's all I can think about. So not really focusing on uh, what's going on here. So must be what it is, right? Oh, well, I guess we'll just go this way then. How about that? 
a weird little trigger on this thing. I don't care for it. These things hold 3,000 maybe? Maybe I should have brought the front end loader over and scooped up six at a time and, and done two greenhouses, but that's all right. We'll get it. We'll knock this out. Um, yeah, I mean, there's no... You're not going to miss anything, I don't think. There's no need to subject you to the rest of this. I can't even get this to go in the bucket. So, yeah, let's call it a day right there. I want to thank you for coming and hanging out with me. I am Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you... To have a good day.